imagine that I have a lemon in my hand. I'm holding a lemon. You can see the yellow lemon. I'm sticking my fingers into that lemon and I'm tearing it apart. Now the flesh of the lemon is, oh, I get a little piece of pulp here. I can taste the sour, the tartness of that lemon. I, I can smell that lemon. Right now you're listening to me talk about this lemon. There are things happening in your brain triggering, triggering physiological events. Your heart rate is a little bit different. Things happening in the saliva of your mouth are a little bit different. There are things being emitted into your stomach anticipating that lemon. You are a different person right now, and there is no lemon. <laughs> if we can change our physiology by thinking about a molecule and a material, can you imagine what a real one does? We, this is serious stuff. We need to understand what's going on. So the question becomes then, why, wh why do we have materials? Why do we invent things that hurt the environment, that aren't helping us but are in fact hurting us? Why do we have prizes then to come up with new ways to repair the damage that we've done? We've got to step back. We've got to think, why is it that people make technologies that are problematic. And okay, so there's an interesting thing because the other problem is that while there's, there's two types of knowledge. There is the makers of information and then there's the makers of things. And if you think about that, there's a big difference there. When you make knowledge, you're disseminating information to other people and you're impacting people, but those people have free will in how they will behave with that knowledge. But when you make a thing, you have the responsibility to know what that thing is going to do. All right? And so if you imagine this, and, and I spoke here a few years ago and I think I startled people and it's worth stating once again, I am a PhD chemist, I make molecules. I have never had a class in toxicology. I have never had a class in environmental mechanisms. If you Google every university in the United States and the world, and you look at the classes that students must take to get a degree in chemistry, you will not find one program requiring a student to take a class in toxicology or environmental mechanisms. Why do we have molecules that hurt us? Well, how could we not? 